hi viewers welcome to this one another tutorial for aspire software limited and today we are going to cover one of the modules within the aspire software limited which is within the positive erp and this module is going to be the front office module or front office module and some some people may call it a, a point of sale so this is the version of the point of sale or a front office module of uh, the positive ERP and of course the company is Aspire Software Limited basically a Kenyan company so as you can see here this is the interface the way it looks like so every module that will open within the positive ERP normally when it opens in your desktop it will appear something like this but when they are in your desktop, they will appear like shortcuts like this one. Now, this one is one of the shortcuts of, 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 of the front office, which is this one now I've opened. So, of course, every user will be as assigned his password. And like right now, I'm using the admin account. So, definitely, I will use that. And then my password, I will input there my password. And then once you've input your password, so, of course, you will open and uh, it will just open so that is how it is now the reason as to why these passwords are given is to ensure that uh, there, uh, there are controls of operations so that not everybody will just use another person's password and at the same time whatever you do every document you raise or even if it is a cell it is being raised to a specific name so if it is let's say admin that has done an operation so every document that comes out including the receipts it will indicate it will indicate the name of the user of the of the password of that name so as you can see here now this is now the interface of the entire pos this is how it looks like now you can see here it shows you the till number which is till number one it could be till number one up to till number 20 depending on the number of tills that you will have in your shop and then there are sessions here. Now this session, it is actually server. It is server based, server registered. So the server will register how many times this till has actually has actually done its Z reports. So the moment you do a Z report, that session is, is registered and all that. So at times you may have two sessions in a day. Okay, there are some companies who will work like a cashier will come in from morning in the afternoon then he closes the session and uh, the other one will take over from maybe afternoon all the way to the evening and then close his session and then the other one again maybe may take over through the through the midnight so it will depend the, it will depend with the operations of the company and of course this is now the number of receipts that have been actually sold or transacted in this particular till so the number of receipts it is equivalent to the number of customers that have been served by this till. So this is how, in a nutshell, you can just be able to know how the till is operating and how this till so far, like how 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 many customers it has it has served. Now, first of all, as we said here, there are some of the what we call the helps or things that can help your cashier be effective. And normally they are here permanently we've included them like for example there are different shortcuts here that if the cashier want wants to do what he will have to check maybe now most of the time with the experiences that we've had is that as much as the cashiers will continue using this they always master this okay they end up mastering everything but uh, once in a while if the cashier is still training then he may or she may be able to refer here quite often if maybe maybe they want to do a uh, browse item codes wise you do an f1 if you want to do a shift 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 plus f1 that is an advanced search okay so this is in terms of if there are no there is no mouse and all that stuff and it is always encouraged for a cashier to strictly use the keyboard for them to be faster enough in serving so these are some of the shortcuts that can be very helpful to them if they want to do or serve their customers effectively okay now you look at around here so the first thing here you begin is that we have the setup to every point of sale and every module there is always a setup 
So when you click this setup, it will open. Now this in the setup, this is where you set the operation of the entire till. Like if you want to put the till number, this is where you come and input the till number. But you can only do that if maybe the system has given you what? The rights. Like for example, as of me, I'm able to access the setup because I have all the rights. I'm using the admin account. So you can see here that if I want to set the magnetic card readers here, I can select which card readers and I can select the ports to be used. And most of the time people use USB magnetic ports or maybe they can use serial ports. But most of the time they use USB. So if you select a serial port, then you will have to define the COM port and, and the baud rate. So the baud rate and then you, you do the update so that your device can be able to be detected be detected by the system okay that is where now you set the magnetic readers in the pos in this front office for the front office to be able to recognize this uh this this particular kind of a hardware now of course we have another one which is the dual screen if maybe your pos your machine your hardware is having dual screen and you'll want maybe transactions to appear in both sides so that when the cashier is stealing on the other end and if the customer is standing on the other hand, the customer will be able also to view from the other hand. So there you just come here and put a tick. If now your screen is dual screen, you put a tick and then you update. After updating, then of course, whatever I'm doing or whatever interface I'm seeing here, then definitely on the other side, the customer is able to see what you are doing and what you are, you are telling. And of course, there are keypads. There are special keypads. If you want to set those keypads also so that the point of sale or the front office can detect so this is in terms of setting its comport and also its baud rate but the baud rate baud rate is always constant and that is uh nine nine as you can see nine nine thousand six hundred there that is normally constant and then after that you insert this tick you enable it and then you update after you've updated you say okay then it will pick it will pick this device and then you'll be able to use the device in the pin in the in the in the front office now likewise also with your pin pads you are able to actually set what kind of feedback pin pads then you are able to set there are different settings there that once you connect it it will appear here and then you'll be able to select and then you say okay so once you do that also the pos is able to detect the the pin pad that you are you are using now there's, there are cases whereby you need also to set, this is where you set what you call your thermal printer or your receipt printers. So you can come here and you set, you select which, which receipt printer you are using, which receipt printer you are using. And most of them you find, most of them here, they are thermal printers. And of course, there are those who are using physical printers. You can also set them here in terms of like uh, Datex printers and all that stuff. So you can, they can be set here and uh, you are able actually to, to, to select and then check in your computer, check which COM port it has picked. You put that COM port with the baud rate and then you do what you can enable or disable. You can enable or disable. So if I want to enable, I can, I can if I want to enable, I remove that tick. If you disable you, you put that tick there. Okay, so at times you'll find most of your, you guys, everything is just well set. But you find that when you do a transaction, the printer is not printing any receipt. So this is where you just come. Maybe this tick is here too. It, your POS has been disabled. The printer has been disabled. So what you do, you just come here and then remove this tick here. And then you say, okay. Once you've said, okay, then your printer will be able to detect and will begin printing receipts. So this is where you, you say, in terms of pole displays also, you can put pole displays here. You can say, like, let's say disable. If you want to disable a pole, pole display, you remove this tick. You, you put that tick there. That one shows that it is off. You can even see. So if I remove the tick, it is on. If I put the tick there, then it is off, as you can see. And then if you want to say you don't need any blinks or not supported blinks, then there you can also you, you can also put that tick there. If you don't want, then of course you select the, the COM port within the machine. Which COM port, if the COM port is the COM port that it has picked in the machine, you go to your computer manager there, computer manager, manage, and then you see the ports, drivers, you see the ports that have been taken, and then you come here and put that port here, select here. And of course, you can also select a baud rate. Now, but each baud rate here is normally constant, it's 96, 
100 so that one is is constant there like that so and then of course you have printers here the same same way it picks the printer from your computer you are able also to select the printers here if you want it to print for you maybe an a4 format printers like uh, some people will say i want an invoice so you can set that a4 printer here so that you can print uh, an invoice in a4 because you cannot print an invoice in that small thermal receipt so right from the pos here you are able to print an a4 an a4 invoice or any a4 documents that you'll want to have so you can even set that printer there and of course here there are these till this is where i was saying this is where you can select the till number you can input the till number here and then the current session number this current session number is being actually it is from the server so you can see down here it indicates it is from the from the server so once you just set the till number before it sells when the till is still new so when you set it here then once it begins selling and it populates and then z reports are done then within the server the server itself will be counting for you the session periods of of this till so that is why it is very 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 important when a till has experienced a problem you don't just go there and start formatting the machine what you do you just you have to consult with the with the with the with the aspire team so that they can help you be able to track your transactions so that you end up not losing any transactions so likewise also for weighing scales this is where also you you set the weighing scale you can select which type of weighing scale and then you can select it there and then if you want to enable it you can enable so that this pos can detect the weighing scale and of course mostly for those who who sell or deal with things that require weighing scales like restaurants maybe butcheries or even some other areas in bakery so this is where you you will need the pos to do this with the weighing scale so that is what it does and then there is this auto scale for new digit there is a type of um a, a weighing scale that has been fully certified from the Kenya Bureau of uh, Statistics for the weighing measures in the government they were fully fully certified aspire for this type of weighing scale they are made in Japan and it is only aspire that uh, that uh, distribute this weighing scale so in case you have a dg then you just simply put a tick there and then you update so this pos will automatically actually look for the dg because it is it is integrated within the system so but now for these other weighing scales then you definitely you'll have to come here and select which type of which which type of weighing scale you are you are looking you're looking for and all that stuff so this is what uh, how this is how you can set okay do a setup on aspire system this is how you can do a setup on Aspire system so that the system can continue to work for you nicely. Otherwise, uh, thank you very much. As of now, we can stop there and then we will proceed in the next tutorial over how and in the, in, the, in the next tutorial and we will see how other modules, other other areas of the of the of the POS really functions and how it works. Otherwise, see you in the next video. Thank you very much.